Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently working on this holy war. Now this has been declared by some of the Muslims up in Spain on all of this territory out over here and we're not letting them get that. We're plus 17% right now, ticking is on our side. We're letting our units reinforce and resupply for the moment while they retreat. Now they have a numerical advantage on us, there's no doubt about that. I'm going to raise up any additional forces that we have available, and also we're going to hop into our champions and accolades because I noticed this guy. He has access to the Vanguard skill. That is phenomenal. He also has Stalwart, which is really, really good. So we're going to do Vanguard as the primary and Stalwart as the secondary. We're going to create that accolade instantly. Absolutely, 100%. We have no successor for it, we could seek a successor. I'm not going to do that just now. Now, that is for our armored footman, and that allows us to bring that up to size 7. That's great. The next accolade that we would like to get, well, we could try to see if we can appoint one of these. We unfortunately cannot. So the most expert of the Mel Spears is probably something that we really, really want. The Scorpion of Kong North would not be bad either. Beyond the two armored footmen units, for the time being, we probably don't need anything else. So restoring these accolades is probably the way to go. We do not fulfill all of the requirements, so we have no knights who can be appointed to it. Okay, that is tedious. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to uh, find people who can be this and make them serve as knights. That is very obnoxious. Hmm, I don't really want to do it that way. That is going to be very, very tedious. So that's Pike Captain, right? So that would mean that we would need to go through this and find someone who can be a Pike Captain and make him serve as a knight. Where is it? Presumably he's in here somewhere. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We've got these guys down here, right? But this doesn't actually tell us how they would become a knight right like what they would be able to do that's very obnoxious i would like to be able to restore these accolades unfortunately we can't do that maybe we need to tick forward a little bit here let's let this tick for a moment give it like a month tick here and let's see what's going on here demand artifact we're going to decline that i'm hoping that we can restore accolades we can sell trivial titles and we're going to draw up our writs of honor immediately that is absolutely something we want to do right now because we want to bump up our armored footmen instantly to size 7. And I also want to increase our onagers just like that. That's most of that money gone. So that is all well and good. But I'm hoping that we're going to be able to restore accolades soon. Ooh, a true and loyal vassal. Indeed. 290 gold there is phenomenal. So that'll be great. We're going to wait for them to return here. They're definitely going to return. And I'm wondering about these guys over here. We'll get them moving as soon as they're done. Okay, so there is a champion here, as well as 128 troops, 229 troops. Okay, we did just lose a chancellor. That was our steward. So we're going to put this lady in as our steward. That'll be fine. Here they come. Okay, we are going to group all of these forces together up over here. They are coming this direction. That's fine. We'll allow them to do this. Yes. Come on in. Excellent. So that seems absolutely fine. We're grouping together here. What is their total troop count? We see that ours is about 13,000. Theirs is about 18,000. Okay. I'm thinking about how we want to approach this right now. This is 13,000 troops that is present here at this time. They're recently disembarked. I think we attack over here. If we can get away with it. So let's move up over here. They have additional forces coming in here. They're running away right now. We can catch something here. This is going to be painful. But we're winning it. Beautiful. Okay. That is very good. This right here, I don't think we would have won this if we did not have that acclaimed knight. To be honest. This guy is boosting up our retinue vanguard here well more specifically he is boosting up our heavy infantry by 10 percent in addition to boosting up our max size of heavy infantry regiments now these are not fully maxed out but they're close 
So that is looking very, very good that we won that battle. That is incredible. Really, really solid. Do we want to go on the aggressive after that? You're down to 13,000 again. Who's the war leader? This guy's the war leader. He is leading his army. I think we want to reinforce again. So 8,000 and 8,000. These are going to cap out at what? Uh, they're going to cap out at probably like 7,000-ish. So that's probably okay to leave them like this. Now, they're going to embark again. And we would have lost that battle as well if they didn't have the recently disembarked penalty. So that is great. For the time being, I think we just leave this be. We do not get aggressive here. I don't think we have the manpower to do it. This guy is quite strong, right? He has a total strength of like 28,000. <laughs> Currently, it's 14,000. So that is absolutely noted. They're fighting off over here. Okay, whatever. This is not relevant to us at this time. Ticking War Score is on our side, and they are grouping up once again, so we should do the same. And they're coming in down this way this time. Okay. So with that in mind, I want to see what they're going to do. They're fighting down here. Can we catch this force separately? Yes, we can. They're locked in here. Okay, this is really good. So these guys are going to be on their way in. But that gives us a lot of time to deal with these guys. That actually stack wiped some of those units. Some of them. Oh, that stack wiped a lot of them, actually. Okay, this was just huge. Absolutely enormous here. I love it. I don't know that this is going to stack wipe. It might, actually. We are going to put this on the celebration pier. Beautiful. We just ended the war. We captured the leader. Amazing. That went so well. We stack wiped their entire army there. That was not necessarily <laughs> intended. I didn't think that was going to happen, but sure, we'll absolutely take it. So we're going to stack wipe these up here as well. Might as well. And we're just waiting for this war to end at this point. There we go. Fantastic. The bickering of infidels is of no concern to us. So be it. Okay, so we won that war, and that's great. We're going to disband this army. They're going to head home. We managed to successfully defend this area. Fantastic. We're very, very, very happy about that outcome. That was really, really good. So we still need to be focused a bit on our economy, right? But more specifically, we finished up these building slots. So what's being built here? Guild halls? That sounds good. We're absolutely okay with that. Hospices are going to go in here. We're not too concerned about our castles yet because we can control what goes in there. Down here, this is building hound pens. I'm okay with that. That's not too bad. This is building hound pens as well. Okay. So we're going to want to put probably not a scriptorium here. Legitimacy gain plus 1%. Is this increasing like when we get legitimacy by 1%? Or is this increasing like a base legitimacy level? Hmm, that's intriguing, but I want to put in monasteries here. So we're going to put in monasteries, and we'll get that going. So we need to get a bunch of investment done, right? These are both building absolutely fine. I have no problems with what's being built in these areas. Cool. But we want to get those building slots filled up with economic structures as early as we can. So that'll be absolutely fine. There's a mental break. We're going to go on a drinking binge. That'll be fine for the time being. We should also probably indulge in drink and drop our stress down to level one. That will reduce our income, but for the moment, it'll go back up. We, I believe, are... Actually, no, we're not reinforcing these. Okay, never mind. We'll be sitting at 26.6, I guess. This is our prisoner cousin and brother-in-law, who has a claim on the Empire of Guinea. For 46 gold? No. No. That's not happening. This guy is 46 gold as well. No, you're a vassal as well. So that's not going to be a thing. We can change our vassal's contract here. We can bump him back up to, or her rather, back up to normal. And we're going to do that. We'll modify that vassal contract. That seems okay. We can demand payment from our cousin, which we'll do. And this prisoner sounds good. We'll do that. Our cousin-in-law here, no. Well, actually, are you a vassal? 
Not directly to us, so this is fine. 46 gold. We've got this prisoner here, 100 gold. We've got this prisoner, 46 gold. Done. We've got this prisoner, 100 gold. And then we've got this prisoner, 10 gold and 10 gold. Beautiful. We're absolutely going to get that. Cool. So that was a fair amount of gold coming in there. When are we able to extort our subjects? That is going to be in October of next year. Okay, that's fine. So for the time being, I want to come down here and make sure that this is getting farms and fields would be ideal here. Here we would want to put in monasteries. So we'll get going on that. This castle is going to want to have definitely militia camps. We're missing 11 gold for that. Let's get that going as soon as we can. So as soon as our next month tick comes in here. Oh, hello. Uh, hang on. I want to get that going first. Okay. We'll pay the Royal Court a visit. I guess this is fine. 285 gold. Okay. 50 gold is not great, but that's fine. All of this is going to be a lot of stress. My apologies, you were saying? So, unfortunately, that brings us back up to stress level 2. Which is not very great, to be honest. And our Cork Ranger is not phenomenal either. And that is definitely something that we do want to work on. But we're not quite in a position to do that right now. So, for the moment, we're going to have to wait here. I want to check in here. Yep, that seems fine. We just want to make sure that we have building slots full at this point. We don't need to max out the level of the buildings. But filling up the building slots is important. Summon the physician. Okay. So that'll be fine. A soft approach is indeed best. We get a stewardship perk, and that is going to give us taxman. Now, we're not actually working on that. We are, in fact, working on increasing development over in Warodugu. And that is still important. We're at 14 development here. This will not happen again. Do you understand me? Okay. Our physician sucks, and that's because we didn't pay for a good one. <laughs> we have a new Hogan now who only partially endorses us. What do we have going on here? Yeah, we definitely want to do something about this, so we're going to sway our new Hogan. That'll be fine. We're up to 32.5 now, though, so that's not too bad, all things considered. Ah, we got in debt even though we came out of debt. That's unfortunate. We got a corruption there. We're going to have to cleanse that corruption off, and let's get that dealt with. Fantastic. So we're going to boost this control up, and that should go pretty quickly, all things considered. This ransom is acceptable. We will happily take 10 gold. Absolutely delighted to take 10 gold right now. So checking in through here, 26 stress, okay, we're at 96 gold at the moment, which is almost certainly not enough to build anything out over here, yet these are all level 1, level 1, okay, this is all looking reasonably good, I'm just checking through all of these out over here and making sure, okay, this temple needs a hospice, so we're currently two months away from that, we cannot risk upsetting the economy. It's 20 legitimacy, but that does lose us stress. It's painful. No doubt about that, but we need to tighten our belt at this point. So we're going to finish up this hospice here as soon as we can. Which will be relatively soon. Alms? No. Are there no sick houses? We just gained yet another stress level, which is very painful. No doubt about that. That's not going to be good for our health. We need to get going on this hospice. And actually, we're down to stress level 2 of 3 now. Well, that's better. Okay. Is there anything else we can do? Well, we can meditate, and we should do that. The comfort of our own castle, and that's... We're just not going anywhere. <laughs> That'll be fine. So the bearer of the emperor's mace requires a worthy successor. We could seek one. Can we, at this point, restore accolades? No. No. We don't fulfill the requirements because we apparently have a knight who can be appointed to our in inactive accolades. I don't think that that's true, but whatever. I guess it's fine. So, for the time being, we need to grab up over here. This is a level 1 structure. Yes, that is all fine. So, we need to come up over this way. This currently has a chapel. Yep, that's okay. In this city holding, I want to put in guilds. We'll get that going for now. In this city holding, farms and fields. Absolutely. 
Then we need this city holding, and that is it, I believe, as far as these empty building slots in holdings not contained by us or controlled by us works. Now we're ill, so we're going to do no more than what is necessary, and re we have reduced disease symptoms, so that's good. We do want to reduce our stress if we can. That would be ideal, but we'll see how that ends up going. This is the only place we need to build anything, and it's... Yeah, uh, show her in with her 85 gold, definitely. We'll accept her generous gifts, and that is definitely going to look to be something along the lines of hill farms here. Perfect. We can get a dynasty legacy, and we've already finished out law. So what do we want to work on next? Legitimacy? That's interesting. Legitimacy could be good here. We've done law. That's pretty decent. We could definitely go for, like, warfare. But I feel like we're going to be fine on warfare, to be honest. That said, private army is pretty good. Men at arms, counter efficiency. This is all very, very strong. I don't think we need it, though. So I'm going to go for legitimacy here. Cool. That will help things like our control growth out over here as well. So no problem whatsoever there. Do we only have the one male heir at this time? We do. That is correct. That is a lot of negative modifiers. Okay. Well, we'll stop meditating in seclusion here pretty soon. And that'll be absolutely fine. At this point, of course, we're going to want to start upgrading these castles. These three in particular. So that'll be good. We'll get that done as soon as we can. We're glad to be well again. We're no longer ill. That's fantastic. We're very, very pleased about that one. Yes, your silver tongue is indeed shining today. So what do we want to get in this castle? Well, probably something like blacksmiths. This is going to be a holding tax upgrade. Well, maybe we want to get that a little later on. We probably want raw income at this time, now that I think about it. So we could go for hospices. Hospices will end up being 1.3 per month. That also increases station men-at-arms toughness. That's noted for later. So that's fine. Cattle pastures will be 1.3 per month as well. So that's the same amount. Hunting grounds, 1.3 per month. But development growth comes from hunting grounds. And so we're probably going to go for that. It's also cheaper. So let's get that going. At least in our economic duchies. Down over here, we're definitely going to want hospices. And we lose 13 stress. That seems absolutely okay for the moment. Alms again? Are there no sick houses? So we gained 50 additional stress. <laughs> That's rough. We're getting a lot of stress from Compassionate. We concluded our meditation, and that is fine. We want to extort our subjects immediately. Now, where are my loyal subjects? Why take a little when we can take a lot? And we're absolutely going to do that. Up over here, I want to put in... We probably can't put in hunting grounds here. Uh, we can, actually, remarkably. We'll put in hunting grounds then. That seems fine. Over here in Felona, we've already got hunting grounds. So we should probably consider putting in something along the lines of cattle pastures or hospices. Either would be kind of okay. I'm going to go with cattle pastures for now. So that seems okay. Down over here, we need to be prioritizing things. Actually, this needs a building slot, period. So that'll be militia camps here. This is prioritizing getting additional levy troops in this location. So that'll be militia camps. That will be absolutely fine. We'll get going on that. Here, we're working on heavy infantry. So we've got that with tower houses. We've got it with levying grounds. Do we have anything else that can boost up heavy infantry even later on? Desert agriculture will be light cavalry. So not that. Cattle pastures, nothing at all. Hospices, we know, will increase toughness. And so that's probably what we're going to end up going with. But I want to check through here. Yeah, hunting grounds would reduce men-at-arms maintenance. Militia camps will eventually get archers and skirmishers. Probably not what we're looking for exactly. Blacksmiths might be the best thing to do. That'll get a station men-at-arms damage right now. And we'll get going on that. That seems okay. Over in Boron, this is Light Horseman. We've already got the Bellows, and we've also already got the Horse Pen. Now we're going to switch these to Heavy Cavalry later, and we don't actually have access to things like Quarries. I'm wondering these Warrior Lodges. That'll give us Pursuit, and it would boost Heavy Infantry, Spearmen, and Skirmishers. Okay, we're probably going to want to put in Hospices here. 
because that will boost up the toughness eventually. Not until rank 3, but eventually. So we'll, we'll get going on that. That'll be fine. Out over here, we have our onagers stationed. So this is really only going to be focused on getting additional levy troops. So that would mean hide tents going in here. That seems fine for now. And let's get ourselves some additional gold. Over in Kong, we have archers stationed. So currently, that is our militia camps here, which is fine. We want additional archer bonuses here. And what can we get for that? I'm not sure that there's all that much that we can do here. We could put in blacksmiths. That would definitely be useful there. And I think that's what we're going to have to do. So we'll get those going as soon as we can. That'll be about two months away. Now about one month away. So that seems okay. We'll get that going right about now. But we do have this ransom here. This is acceptable. And that gives us what we need to construct the blacksmiths immediately. In Kong North, we are going to want to boost up our heavy infantry here. So that basically is going to be the same sort of thing here. We want to put in blacksmiths here, almost certainly. So that will be done soon enough. 104 gold needed for that. And then in Laraba, this is going to be boosting up pikemen. So to that end, it might end up being hospices. Actually, no. It would be barracks. Barracks boost spearmen. So we can put that in. And then we would also want blacksmiths. These spearmen are going to have a lot of boosts. Okay. So that's absolutely fine. We're going to get these wooden barracks built soon enough. Over here in Kong North, we want to get blacksmiths built. So we'll get going on that on this next month tick. That'll be absolutely fine. There we go. And then in Laraba, we're going to want to get barracks going. That will be the first mission there. So Hunter's Lodges have finished up in Warodugu. For now, that's absolutely fine. Now that we have all of our building slots filled up, that is absolutely great. Or almost all of them filled up. We do still need Laraba. I don't want to spend legitimacy on it. I don't want to spend 300 gold. It's going to be the legitimacy, and I'm not happy about it. Okay. So we finished completing our county control in Nazi. That's great. No problem whatsoever there. We have swayed this guy. Is he fully endorsing us? Yes, he is. So let's get rid of this sway scheme. No problem whatsoever there. Man, we're getting so many events here that give us tons and tons of stress, or we have to pay a lot of gold. I'm gonna take the stress, and I'm really not happy about it. Okay, so turning to diamonds, bring us a barrel of drink to bathe our sorrows. So we're gonna be a tragic drunk, and we're going to be on a drinking binge. We're gonna lose a level of fame. It's rough. No doubt about it. So our stress level has been reduced. Unfortunately, we are dying at this point. So, oh, we can restore accolades. We should definitely do that. We're currently near death, and that's not surprising, all things considered. This guy has had a rough life. That's for sure. But this succession won't be too bad. This kid is six, so we would hope to survive ten years. We're probably not going to. Would this reduce our stress? It wouldn't appear to. Okay. Well, we're probably going to die very, very soon. Over in Laraba, I would like to get this barracks constructed. We need one more month's worth of gold here. And we're likely to die soon. This guy can be appointed as the Scorpion of Kong North, and I would like to do exactly that. I want all of our accolades to be active at this moment. So we're going to appoint this guy. And we're hoping that we can appoint a most expert of the Mel Spears soon as well. That would be phenomenal. I don't suppose we can do any successors here. Actually, we can pay to recruit this guy to court. I'm not going to do that right now because I want to get this construction done first in Laraba. Now all of our building slots are full. So even if we die, we're in a much better situation going into this next life. So that will be good. Our wife is bearing our child. We'll see what happens with that one. Also, I want to make sure that this kid is in a stewardship education focus. There we go. And I also want to have him be educated, possibly by us. We are dying, though. I think our wife and empress here would be the way to go. 
Okay. We should probably also designate a region. So this is our current designated region. And that's probably fine. Is this our wife with high stewardship? It is. No, this is okay. I'm fine with this. She'll be selfless. That seems okay. So we're probably going to die extremely soon here. Probably. Hunter's Lodges have been constructed. That is expected, of course. Our counselor died in his sleep, so we need a new marshal. That'll be this guy. And when is that drinking binge going to end? That's not going to be for a while. Noted. And that tragic drunk is going to be for a very long while. So this is not surprising, right? Men-at-arms negotiation is happening. We'll see if this ends up being anything that we can do anything about. Currently, it's not anything at all. We'll see. We do need to continue to get some upgrades done where we can. So this city is maxed out for the moment. I don't think we can go to level 2 holdings. No, we need manorialism for that. Now, we're currently still working on the tribal era. We are on West African canoes right now. What has been actually exposed in the early medieval era? Manorialism. Okay, that's very solid. I like that. So that is very good. None of these are going to give us additional domain limit, are they, in early medieval? Correct. Okay, so that seems reasonably fine. We'll continue to work on West African canoes. That's okay. However, we can head on, off to Warodugu here and upgrade this hunting ground, which I definitely want to do. We want to have as much income as we can get right now, right? That is very important. And the longer this guy lives, the better. But it's not going to be very long. We want him to live ideally until this kid turns 16. That's unlikely to happen, but that's okay. I feel like we've gotten a lot done in this life. Our economy is so much better. Our men-at-arms are significantly improved. We're in a much, much, much better position to actually have a succession. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, this guy is almost certainly... that That's very flashy. Okay. This guy is almost certainly going to cease to exist. So that is fine. We're in a decent spot for that to happen. Unless we have another male child. I'm not sure which wife it is that's currently pregnant. But we do know that one of them is currently pregnant. This one. She's been with child for six months. We'll see if it's a male child. If it is, problems could ensue. Especially if we die, like, moments after that child is born. But that's a next episode concern. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible. Including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.